Wojak wants to make some extra cash, so he goes online and a YouTuber tells him he should start taking surveys to make money. He spends the entire day doing surveys and at the end he realizes he's not allowed to withdraw the money until he's done five times more. So he spends another week doing the surveys and finally after 40 hours of work he's able to withdraw an entire $50 to his bank account, meaning he made about $1 per hour. Elon on the other hand finds an in-demand skill that he already knows and it takes him 15 minutes to put up his services for the skill online. He immediately gets hit up to do a job that's going to make him over $50 an hour. When he gets done, he gets paid on the spot and he ends up getting an extra 20% tip afterwards for doing a great job. There are so many side hustles you hear online from YouTubers where they claim that it's really easy to get into and you can get paid right away and make really good money. But then when you try them, you end up making almost nothing and wasting your time. But then on the other hand, there's side hustles that everybody already knows about like Uber or delivering food. But in today's video, I'm going to be talking about side hustles that I've never heard anybody else talk about that are actually really good. And the first one I know from personal experience you can make great money with because I actually tried to find somebody to do this for me and I couldn't find anybody to do it for less than $100 an hour. And that is going to be carpet and mattress cleaning. So a few years ago, I was living in this apartment in Bellingham, Washington, and I wanted to get a maid to come in to clean the entire house. And she came in, cleaned the entire house, but I noticed that she didn't clean the carpet. There were still stains on the carpet from my roommates who had just moved out. And she told me that she didn't do that and I would have to find somebody else. So I started searching. I tried to find somebody to actually clean the carpet and the rates they were charging were absolutely outrageous. First of all, they wouldn't just clean the stains, they would have to clean the entire carpet and it was gonna cost me somewhere around 500 to $1,000. So this is when I started doing research on it and I realized that if you wanted to clean your carpet you'd have to get a special machine known as a spot cleaner and you can get spot cleaners for around a hundred dollars or if you want to rent one you can get it for less than that and people are willing to pay a lot more money for spot cleaning than they are for a normal maid service and so specialized types of cleaning like carpets and beds you can actually charge a premium for and there's actually a really cool story of how this guy started a business that ended up making him about nine thousand dollars a month just from cleaning carpets alone and depending on where you live you can easily charge over fifty dollars an hour plus expense so the way you would get started with this one is you can either borrow, rent, or buy a spot cleaning machine and then start advertising your services on websites like Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace. And you can also tell your friends and family that you're starting to do this. Once you get your first few clients, make sure you do a really good job. You can get some reviews from them. And then after that, the business will basically just grow itself. Basically, you can find any type of cleaning that the normal cleaning services and maid services don't want to do. And because of the fact that most of them don't do that, you can charge a premium for that service. So some of the pros of this one are low startup costs, flexible hours, and high earning potential. Some of the cons of this one are it does require physical labor, it may involve working with harsh chemicals, and at first you are going to have to find your own clients. So this could be great for you if you enjoy physical labor, have an eye for detail, and are looking for a flexible side hustle. This one gets an 8.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is going to be great for you if you like shopping and then giving your opinions on the products. And you can give your opinion on anything from vacuum cleaners to unicorn pool flow. And that is going to be video reviews on Amazon. And basically what you can do is you can just review any product that you've already bought from Amazon, make a quick video about it, and post that on the website itself as a review. And you'll get paid a small commission if people watch your video and then buy the product. And this is important because 95% of people look at reviews before buying something online. And 91% of people trust online social proof as much as personal recommendations. And video reviews have been shown to drive even more conversions than written ones. And like I said, you can get started by using your phone to record a video of products that you've already bought from Amazon. And there are people that are making tens of thousands of dollars a month passively just from the video reviews that they've done. And another cool thing is you can just throw these videos up on YouTube as well and then put an affiliate link in the description. So it's basically like a two for one. So some of the pros here are flexibility and ease of the job. And the con here is the potential for low pay at first, but it builds over time. The next one on the list might be great for you if you're somebody that enjoys bringing people together and you want to get paid to do it. And that is going to be hosting social events such as trivia nights. Now, ever since the pandemic happened, everybody got stuck inside and loneliness became even worse than it was before. And it was already really bad due to social media. And because of this, in-person events are starting to get more and more popular. And this basically involves creating and hosting a fun game of trivia at a bar or a restaurant. And this is a win-win situation for everybody involved because the bar or the restaurant will get a bunch of people to come in and they'll end up buying drinks or food, the people will have a good time and you will end up getting paid. Usually restaurants or bars will pay you about $250 per night and sometimes even more than that if you're good at getting people in the door. And you can start this by either directly contacting restaurants or bars or there's a website that's actually dedicated to helping you start this which is lastcalltrivia.com.
.com. And this is a really easy and fun way to be social, meet new people, and make an extra $500 to $1,000 a month. So this one probably isn't gonna make you rich. I mean, you could start a trivia company if you wanted to, but it's a great way to make a little bit of extra money on the side while doing something that's also fun. And full-time trivia hosts make about $40,000 a year according to Glassdoor. So the pros here include the ability to earn extra income, meet new people, and tap into your creativity and knowledge. The cons here include the potential for low turnout at events and the need to keep the game interesting and engaging. Just make sure you get your facts right so that somebody doesn't argue with you when they get the wrong answer. What kind of bear is best? It's a ridiculous question. False. Black bear. This one gets a 7.5 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one can be great for you if you're passionate about cooking and you're looking to make extra money on the side. And that is going to be becoming a personal chef. Now this is one that I actually love doing myself and I'm not gonna say that I'm a great chef, but even my smoke detector cheers me on when I cook. Now this is one I know from personal experience you can get paid really well for because I have paid personal chefs myself. And the reason for that is because I try out a bunch of different weird diets and I like to hire people to make foods that are friendly to that diet. So for instance, I've tried the low carb, keto and carnivore diets, and it's really hard to actually make good food that follow those diets. So what did I do? I hired a personal chef to make the food for me. Now it's very important with this one that you specialize. You do not wanna just be a generalist personal chef. You wanna specialize and say that you make keto or carnivore or low carb or vegan or paleo food. So for instance, you could start a post on Craigslist or Facebook where you tell people that you'll make the food for them and then deliver it on a day daily or weekly basis. You know, sometimes people will want the food delivered fresh every single day, and sometimes it's okay if you deliver it once or twice a week, and then they basically just store it in their fridge or freezer. But I'm telling you right now, you can charge a premium for this if you niche down, make sure that you only make one type of food and you're really good at making it. So for instance, right now I'm doing the carnivore diet and I pay somebody to literally just make steak for me and then cut it up. And personal chefs make about $50,000 a year, but if you wanna start your own business with this, you could make much more than that. Some of the pros of this one include flexible hours, creative freedom, and the satisfaction of making people happy. Some of the cons include constantly having to market yourself and the physical demands of cooking for an extended period of time. And it can be good for you whether you want to do it full time or just make a little bit of extra money on the side. This one gets an 8 out of 10 opportunity score. The next one on the list is one I personally did and I was accidentally able to make over $180 an hour. And that is being an online teacher or tutor. And this is great for you if you have a passion for teaching but you wanna work from the comfort of your own home. So when I was an undergrad at the University of Kansas, I really wanted to get into pharmacy school, but in order to get in, I had to take this really difficult test called the PCAT or Pharmacy College Admissions Test. And I studied really hard for this test and a lot of the study material out there wasn't that great, but I found the best stuff and I found the best way to study for the test and I was able to score pretty well on it. And there were a few people that I was studying with and I only told a few people about my score, but all of a sudden people started hitting me up asking me if if I could tutor them to study for the test as well. And at first I happily did it, but then a bunch of people started hitting me up and I started running out of time. And so I started charging for my time. And at first I think I only charged like $30 an hour, but eventually I got up to the point where I was charging $180 per hour to tutor for this test. And I never marketed it and I never tried to sell people on it. And that is the power of niching down and being an expert at a very specific thing. And there's a reason online that there's a saying, the riches are in the niches. And so if you wanna be successful as an online teacher, what you want to do is look back in your past and think about things that you've already accomplished. For instance, you might be watching this and you're a certified accountant, or maybe you're watching this and you're a nurse. There were probably tests that you had to take as a nurse or an accountant, and you can tutor people for those tests, right? If you just advertised yourself as a science tutor or a health tutor, or even a nurse tutor, that probably wouldn't be a high paying skill. But if you say that you tutor for a very specific test, that's how you can make a lot of money. Now, if you're doing one-on-one -on -one sessions, you should be charging at the bare minimum $30 to $50 an hour. And if you're doing group coaching sessions, you can charge less than that, but you'll end up making more overall. So I highly recommend trying to figure out something that you're uniquely good at and tutoring for that thing. But if you really can't think of anything that you're good at, chances are you speak English if you're watching this video and you can teach or tutor people online in English. A great website to get started with that is cambly.com. So some of the pros of this one include 
flexibility, the ability to work from home, and the opportunity to reach a global audience. Some of the cons of this one include the potential for unreliable income and difficulty establishing connections with students. And this one, in my opinion, is honestly going to be massive in the future. Being a teacher or tutor for a micro niche is a huge opportunity, whether you want to do it as a side hustle or even turn it into a full-time income or a business. This one gets a perfect 10 out of 10 opportunity score. Now, if you want to check out a video I did on what, in my opinion, are the 10 best side hustles that you can do from home, you can check that out by clicking right here.